What is shoujo? Shoujo is considered a genre when looking into the anime and manga realm, but it's actually depicting a target age group. The word shoujo in Japanese means girl, and lo and behold, the shoujo demographic is girls between the ages of 10 and 18, just like shonen is for boys. Normally, if I see an anime have a mix of slice of life, romance, and comedy, I tend to consider it shoujo. Typically, a relatable female teenager is the main character, and the story usually unfolds from her perspective. In the 1960s, Nishitani Yoshiko, a female illustrator, drew stories featuring modern Japanese teenagers in love. This seems to be the first instance of shoujo manga gaining an identity and initiating a huge transformation for this female-centric genre. Then thanks to Tezuka Osamu revolutionizing anime and manga post-World War II, shoujo manga also got a wave of powerful female action heroines and magical girls as we know it came to be. Magical girl anime is an important component of shoujo because it mixes the action along with having a very girl-targeted element like romance. Sailor Moon is credited as being the most iconic instance of magical girl anime, but Mahotsukai Sari is the actual first magical girl anime debuting in 1966. Many also happen to think that Mahotsukai Sari is also the first shoujo anime as well. Other than magical girl anime, themes that are common in shoujo include Osu Nanajimi or childhood friend, Hatsukoi or first love, Yakusaku or something like a promise you can't break. Oh, and the hot main dude OTP character. Why are they always so perfect? I love how different they all are and yet so great. I normally don't like it when a character is super duper perfect and loved by all like Yamato from Saya I Love You or Kazehaya from Kimi ni Todoke, but my wanting to root for the main girl character just made me fall in love with the boys. But I like it so much better when the guy is flawed. Kyoya from Wolf Girl and Black Prince is basically sadistic, but you know how he actually feels. He's so tsundere, it's the best. And speaking of tsundere, Ko from Aoharaido is super duper tsunso after he re-enters Futaba's life and he's nothing like he used to be. I like that. I I feel like that's exactly how puberty is where everyone's basically really tuned that it's trying to be sarcastic and mean and tough when in the inside on the inside inside you just want to be with your OTP. And of course I always love and root for the main female protagonist. I want to vicariously experience falling in love and feeling heartbreak through her and it's fun to be emotional. I also really appreciate that the main girl usually has a very specific personality which always helps make it funny. For example Erika from Wolf Girl and Black Prince is a pathological liar. Misaki from Kaicho Meido Sama is a strong female lead powerhouse but is also a boy hating sort of dictator and she also works in a maid cafe. Sawako from Kimi ni Todoke is so naive but is also the most honest thing ever. Shizuku from Tonari no Kaibutsukun is also honest but is also the smartest girl ever and is awesomely not socially awkward. I want to keep going but I have to stop at some point. I honestly love shoujo anime. It makes me feel young and nostalgic and I love the characters aren't usually sexualized. I enjoy the realistic roller coaster it feels it takes you on and I love the colors, the sparkles, and the over usage of cherry blossoms. And the boys are so hot! What are your favorite shoujo anime? Shitani komento shite ne? To watch my favorite shoujo anime I mentioned in this episode without any ads, head on over to crunchyroll.com slash sfnerd so you can get a free premium membership trial. Jaa mata saraishu ne!